Next up, he is the Iraq War correspondent who wrote and directed the new documentary Only the Dead See the End of War, airing on HBO starting March 28th. Michael Ware is back with us. Michael. The scene in the corn, brother. The scene in the corn. How are you? How are you, Michael? Always good to see you alive. Oh, God. It's been many lives and deaths it's, since we uh, saw each other it's, last. It's, it's... And now we're living in a Trump nation, so, you know, what do we do with ourselves? Where are you from, Australia? I, yeah, the yeah. furthest part of the planet you can possibly imagine. Yeah. So right now it's the best it's, place to uh... Those fucking Australians are taking over, and we're not yeah, going to let it happen. Fucking, we're doing it very fucking quietly, you Seppo yeah, bastard. Okay, yeah. All right. <laughs> so uh, I, I watched your movie. I got a screen. I am. I'm sorry for that. Stop touching me. And um, <laughs> I know, you know he acts coy on okay, screen. Okay. All right. But all anyway. right. I know. Seven years in Iraq, it gets lonely. I'm oh. sure it gets very, very lonely. Those there. deserts are I mean, a very dark and lonely place. Lord knows you cannot anyway. hit on the local chicks. <laughs> yeah. That yeah. would not go no, over that, that well. That was a what desert. It? And the so three blokes I know who did that, they all ended up dead. So. Is that true? They yeah, actually no shit. hit Yeah, on... yeah, yeah, no shit. Anyway, moving right along. <laughs> Now, let's talk about this. I, I, <laughs> that takes a lot of balls in a Muslim country. <laughs> and I... you'll lose them, too. <laughs> um, but, okay. yeah. All right, so... <laughs> <laughs> but uh, y your movie is, uh, I feel it's going to be the feel-good hit of the summer. It's, oh, uh, it's, a, it, it's the rom-com that everyone's got. It's a date movie. No, it's... Uh, it's, it's really fucking not, is it? You it's cannot really stop watching not. it, I'll tell you. Yeah. Because you shot over 250 hours on yeah. your own little camera yeah. there when you were yeah. in Iraq. Yeah. And uh, this is really about the birth of ISIS uh, and Zarqawi and all that. And before, let's go back a little before that, because before there was Zarqawi, uh, there was the insurgency, which was yeah. something different. America yeah. kicked over Saddam Hussein, and then there's a, a very g an interesting scene where you show uh, there's a point where an American soldier fires into a car at a checkpoint, yeah, killing yeah, an Iraqi. Yeah, yeah a kid, <clears throat> a kid. Uh, and you 16, see the Iraqi's brother. Yeah, who was in the car with him. Very emotional, saying, America, you're going to pay. Yeah. And I thought, there's your insurgency right there. Well, well, that's exactly right. I mean, it was almost at the point, and, and to the military's credit, they knew this. It's almost uh, for every one person we killed or captured, we, cre we actually created two or three of course. new or more insurgents. I mean, we were almost in a no-win situation. And the incident you're talking about, there's two kids, two brothers, one's like 17 and one's like 15. They were driving through our neighbourhood where Time magazine lived to get the family's monthly food ration. Mm -hmm. It just so happens that there was an American raid going on, hunting for Saddam that obviously didn't f find him, and some nervous GI lights up their car. And so this 15-year-old watches his 17-year-old brother's brains blown all over him. And I was there shortly thereafter, and it just so happened I stumbled on the kid's funeral the next day. And that's what you see. Right. Who can't relate to that? Well, that's none a of the, universal. None of us, actually. But that's a universal. None of us no, here no, in but that's a universal right. pain. Yeah, of know? course, we can all relate to that. And, and I think African American. Are, you know, can relate to that more than, than anyone else. But we can all relate to that kind of universal pain. OK, so when, when you see the way some politicians in this country talk about what we should do now, I mean, if you watch the Republican debates, they all talk about how, you know what we got to do with ISIS? we got to put boots on the ground. They all want to go back in there, and you know what? We're going to do it quick. We're going to wipe them out and come home. Yeah. We couldn't do it quick when we had 150,000 no, troops no, no, there. No, 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 no. It seems no, insane no. that the... the, the the amnesia this country has about its recent past. The Russians pulled out of Syria this week. How come we're the only country that can't ever fucking leave a place? Uh, Putin gets it. Absolutely. Uh, Pu Putin does get it. Um, you're well, very good at quagmires. Um, but what... What were we what saying? Are, what, what, no. <laughs> One of no, us is I... a pothead, one is, a, is an Iraq war veteran. Yeah. This conversation could yeah. go sideways very easily. 
Pick the toker. No, I was, I was actually pausing for a moment because what I was thinking about was, was to your point, I know what all of this sabre rattling and, and all of this adventurism shaves away from the souls of your children. I've seen it, man. It's in your movie. Yeah. If our film serves nothing else, it's, it's not just to remind you all of that, because, you know, you've been told, but there's no way you can know. What we hope the, is that if you give us 78 minutes of your lives with this movie, there will be one moment for all of you in this film where you will be in Iraq. And you'll see what it took from your children, from right. your Marines, from your soldiers. Because it's, it's, it's more than the physical. Of it's course. about that place in the head and the heart that you have to go to. And we hope that we actually transport you. This is not a film that you watch. We want this to be a film that you experience. Because you know what? Almost three, point, three million of your children have experienced something like this. You know what it reminded me of was Apocalypse Now. The way you talk about Zarqawi, who is the guy who, as you say accurately, hijacked the insurgency. And the insurgency wasn't really a religious war. It had nothing to do right. with religion. But he hijacked this, and this is the forebearer of ISIS. Well, well no, what... no, this is ISIS. Let's not forget one of the darkest legacies of our invasion, and I say our because Australia was a part of that and Britain was a part of that, we are the West. The darkest legacy of our invasion of Iraq is that unwittingly we unleash the Islamic State upon ourselves. Of course. And upon the rest of the world. <laughs> and that's just a fact. Yeah. Right? And what it takes to reach out and touch that darkness, even to combat it, you will see in this film. And it's, it's, it's funny you mention Apocalypse Now because, you know, I had 300... Well, he's like Kurtz. Well, You're trying to find this mythical figure who's been in the jungle too long and has gone crazy. Well, it, and is bringing craziness to the whole country. Yeah, it, it's, it's it, crazy wholesale, you know? It's, and look... But what about you? Are you better now? You don't, look, you don't seem like you're quite as crazy as you used to be. I was about to say, go fuck yourself, but thank you, brother. <laughs> um, no, look... Do you sleep okay? Yeah, I... I, I I actually sleep now. I went for a, over a decade where I didn't. Right. And like many of your veterans, some of them are still struggling too. Of some course. of them have, have done what I've done, but you know, I finally made it home. Right. Now, home will never be the same again. For the rest of my life, to the day I die, I will walk with ghosts. But you know what? That's a privilege. And I found a way to live with that. And some days that makes life better and some days that makes life harder. But I have found my way home. And if I can share that in a piece of film that lasts 78 minutes on your TV screens, and you know what? Michael. Maybe some of those ghosts are worth Ladies, it. Ladies, he's on Christian Mingle. Welcome <laughs> up. Michael, it's always great to see you. <laughs>